Hey guys, who's boy 24 here, and we are back with some more GTA 5 online glitches. Today I'm going to show you how you can shoot inside your garage. There are two methods to this. I'm only going to show you one method, and this is the after patch 1.12. So yeah, well, 1.112. But yeah, let's go ahead and go to the front of the garage where these two doors are. Uh, we're going to go to the elevator place, and right here in this corner, that's where you're going to stand. You're then going to pop up your phone, you're going to go to the internet, you're then going to go to travel and transport up here at the top, you're then going to go to legendary sports, you're then going to pick a car that you cannot afford, so I can't afford this Turismo, so I'm going to go ahead and pick a colour, and then just hit order, this alert thing will pop up saying that you don't have enough coins, or cash, game makes up with FIFA, but yeah, it's going to say you to the Xbox game store, click yes to do so, and that will send you again to the Xbox game store. Once you are there, you're just going to hit back, and that will launch you back to the online session. So let's go ahead and just wait real quick. Here we go. Here's the Xbox Game Store. Once you get here, just click B to go back. Or if you're on PlayStation 3, you want to click Circle. Is that is it correct? I'm not quite sure. It's been a long time since I've been on PlayStation. But yeah, I have an Xbox. So I obviously know what the controllers are there. So yeah, just wait for it to load and put you back into a online session. The trouble with this method is that you can only shoot to the side that you are on, as you can see. But let me, I'll talk to you in that about in a minute. You just want to exit out of your web browser and your phone. And then again, you can pick up your phone, uh, not phone, but weapons, as you can see. You can choose whatever you want. My controller is just gone dead. Hang on. Let's wait for it to load. I've got some kind of trouble here with my controller. But yeah, anyway, as you can see, you can choose any weapon as you want. But once you pass this imaginary line across here, or you pass that corner of the wall, you won't be able to fire anymore, your weapons will be gone, and the cars will be glitched back. So as you can see, you can shoot anywhere you like. It's a pretty cool glitch. You can shoot people inside, there isn't anybody to demonstrate it right now, but you can. You can do it to test it with yourselves, guys. It is possible to shoot people. But yeah, I'm going to show you, if I pass this line here, that everything will stop and will go back to normal. So let me just show you that. So there, there we go. It is back... The cars are back, I can't, you know, I can't pick up my weapons, can't shoot, can't do anything. It's back to normal. So yeah, guys, if you want to see the other method, the second method on how you can shoot in the garage, you can shoot anyway, shoot right here, and still, there is no line. If you go past that line, everything will go back, just like this one. That is not it. The second method is pretty bad, but this is pretty simple to do, and it's pretty quick to do. You know, you can have a lot of fun with this glitch. But yeah, make sure to drop a like guys, 100 likes, and I'll show you the method number 2 for how to shoot inside your garage. Which is pretty cool, again, it's more effective, much better because you got more space to shoot. But yeah, but this method is pretty cool as well, and it's pretty quick. Pr probably takes a couple of minutes to do, minute max. It's pretty simple. But yeah, make sure to subscribe guys, reaching 10,000 subscribers. If we do, I'm planning to do a Q&A or a desk thingy-bob, desk tour, that's how you call it. But yeah. Drop a like, subscribe. And